All right, welcome back to another video. I'm on the 67 you see behind me. I'm gonna be doing suspension today. First thing, I have the rear end up on the table here. I have everything laid out that I need. Um, all the tools that I need just to throw this rear together real quick. Axles are sitting down there. We got the seals for the end. Bearings are on the axles. Um, gaskets, the right hardware, AMK hardwares. The uh, center section there, backing plates. And I just finished cleaning out the rear just to make sure there's nothing left in it. And I chased the threads on the studs. Make sure anything that you're doing, if you're using old stuff, new stuff, check all the threads before you put it on the car. Because the last thing you want to do is set your, your gasket in place. And I use a little bit of a, a sealer on it also, um, which you'll see I have right stuff that I'm using. Um, before you set your center section on, if your threads are messed up and you didn't know it, and then you got to take it back apart and you got a mess. So just check everything beforehand is uh, one of the tips that I'll say. So got the GoPro there. I'm gonna throw the rear together and then we're gonna stick it up in the car. I have the leaf springs ready to go there on the ground. I painted those in the last video you saw. And I have all the hardwares here to mount the rear end. Um, got the U-bolts, I got the leaf spring bolts, rear shocks, and all the other components to mount everything um, and they're all coded ready to go so that's what we're going to do today we're going to do the rear end and then in the next video we're going to do the front end um, and then i'll put all the wheels on it set it on the ground so i can sit back and see what it looks like that's what i'm most excited for is to get a look at the original style wheels and tires that were on this car with the styled steel wheels um, just excited to see it on the car and on the ground so Let's throw this rear together, put it up under the car.
So it went together fairly easy, as you can see, but I had everything prepped um, beforehand. And you could see the one axle slid in nice and easy. The other one, I just tapped on it with the mallet. You don't want to hammer them in. Um, that's not good. Um, and what I did, I had to deburr some in the pockets there on that axle tube uh, just because there was some metal that was sticking up there. You just want to make sure everything's cleaned out and prepped before you put it together. Then it goes together easily like that one did. Um, there's not much to it. You can see I do use anesthes on uh, threads. Uh, so all the threads are coated. It could come back to, apart easily. Um, these have the copper washers under them like they're supposed to. Uh, that's an AMK kit that had those nuts and washers. And I also have the factory tag back in, um, which does say 279, and that's what this car was. It was a 279 rear end. So I have the rear end ready to go now. Another tip before you put it together. Backing plates go on first, axle slides through it, and you gotta have these uh, hold down plates on the axle before you press the bearings on. So don't forget that sequence if you're doing this, same project. And for these backing plates, you wanna make sure that your hole for your parking brake cable is on the front side of the housing. Um, if you have them flip-flopped, your hole for that parking brake will be on the back side, which is no good. Um, you'll have to take it back apart. So just a couple things to watch out for if you're putting together your rear end. So now, I am going to shine a light underneath here. I have a, a nice LED light, so uh, it could be nice and bright down here. But I have the leaf spring sitting there, ready to go, the bolts. So I'm going to put the front of that leaf spring up in the pocket, put the bolt through, and just thread it on by hand. I'm not going to tighten anything down on the suspension until I lower the car down. Um, you don't want to tighten your suspension completely while it's hanging, because whenever you jack it up, everything's going to twist. Um, so you want that twist to happen before you tighten all your suspension hardware. Uh, so that's just another tip for if you're putting together your rear end. So I'll swing those front ends up. I'll set the rear end in place, get it on those locating nubs, and then I'll put the, uh, the hardware on those U-bolts to somewhat clamp it down so I can jack up on the rear, raise the whole back end up, and then I could put together the trailing arms of those leaf springs and um, just keep going from there. I'll put the shocks on uh, until it's all together. So I'll bring the GoPro under here, set up a light so everyone can see, and we'll get this rear end in the car.
All right, so I got all of the rear end put together, up in place. You can see, hopefully from that video, it shows you pretty well what's all involved in putting that in there. Um, the, the worst part about it is, is doing these bushings on the backside, just a lot of WD-40 um, and some bigger channel locks. And uh, use the frame rail with the channel locks and it'll help scoot those bushings in there, those rubber pieces. Um, because they're just real tight fit whenever you're trying to fit the spring to the frame um, But other than that it goes in pretty smoothly shocks are in um, Everything is tight except for the back Saddle and the front eye bolt um, Like I said, I'll wait until that's down on the suspension before I tighten any of that stuff up um, But at least it's in there. It's snugged so um, Yeah, it's ready to be dropped onto the ground. Um, that's just a Quick video, hopefully help some of you guys on if you're doing a rear end in your car. Um, but I'm excited to finally get that in there. I'm gonna move on to the front suspension for the next video. And then in that next video in the end, I'll have it on four wheels, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. So I'm gonna set up everything here to do the front end, cover that, and hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Click the like button and we'll see you in the next video.